one that's emerged recently and it's almost that sustainability a victim of its success. So many companies now want to be more sustainable that just finding qualified people to work in a sustainability team has become uh, difficult. Um, understanding the agenda is challenging. It is very broad. There are many, many issues to be addressed. Obviously, climate change is, is on just about everyone's radar, but gender equality, inequality more generally, nature, um, anti-corruption, there are so many issues to, to address. Identifying what's most material and finding the resources and capacity to address it effectively are big challenges. Well, um, they have to start thinking about it holistically because if you um, look at the history of business, it's been about maximizing profits at the cost of all else. And what's happening to a lot of businesses is they start in the sustainability and go, and we'll shift it to that department. That department's in charge of sustainability. Instead of, if you do that, companies deny all of the passion and all of the innovation that, that, that their entire employee base can provide. It's, gee, and it's a super complex problem and it takes everybody to do it. So um, really making it as much a part of your culture as profitability is, which is difficult, but uh, that's the key. I think there are challenges for businesses uh, looking to implement ESG and, and that's because it's such a broad area so so I think if you start and think you know I can't possibly do all of this that that's going to um, you know be a, a major challenge but if you break it down and think about the different environmental social and governance issues and actually look at what's material for your business and try and prioritize I think that's the best approach and I think if you can get your senior stakeholders engaged and, and part of the conversation at a really early stage that's the best way to try and address the, the challenges that, that may arise in other parts of the organization.